Oh, hello everyone. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for all the loves. Okay, so yeah, I guess that I just, I thought that after Accutane, I would have clear skin forever. I mean, that's what my dermatologist told me. I had many people tell me that, you know, their acne never came back and like, that's so awesome for them. I am so jealous, but also so happy for them. But I was just super positive. I was like, you know what? That's me. Mine's not gonna come back. Like this is it and then I'm done. So when it did come back, I was kind of a little bit devastated and didn't really know what to do. And I let it go on for a little while, probably like longer than I should have, like two, three months. Um, and it just started with one right here, I remember. And then I got one here, and then I got one here, and then I got one here, and I was like, okay, I have four cysts at the same time. When my skin, up until now, I had not have a single pimple even. So I decided to go to the dermatologist, and when I went to the dermatologist, she told me, yeah, sometimes people just need to do another course. And I asked her, I was like, okay, well, I heard about cutting out dairy because some people don't process the hormones or they can't, so it comes out in the form of acne. Like, what do you think about that? And she said, no, absolutely not. Like, you don't need to change your diet at all. And I just was like, really, really? So I didn't listen to her. I was like, I'm, oh, hey, Katie. I was like, I'm not going back on Accutane again. Didn't work the first time. I didn't really like how it made me feel. I honestly didn't want to do it the first time, but I only did it because it was so painful. Like the physical pain of having it, you can feel it like stretching out your skin and it's so itchy and just exploding. You probably know what I'm talking about. It's gross, but whatever. Um, I just really didn't want to have to go through that again. And then be in that less than 5% that a second round doesn't work for. Do you know what I mean? Because apparently the turnover rate for your first course is less than 15% relapse. But I've been like searching that online and it did say something that it depends on your age. It depends on if you're male or female. It depends on um, if you reached your maximum dose. Like there's so many variables that go into it that now they're saying the relapse rate after one course is anywhere from 10% to 60%. So it's definitely not um, what dermatologists had told me before at the 15% mark. So anyways, let me get to what I'm doing now. Drinking this big old thing of water, bigger than my head, or maybe the same size. I don't know, I got a big head apparently. Now I've been doing, basically I changed my diet to a low inflammation diet. First I went dairy free and that helped a lot. I stopped getting cysts probably, not the first month, but halfway through the second month of going dairy free. I've been dairy free for about three and a half months now. And at first, a lot of people told me you'll purge because you're kind of like, your body's getting used to not having it and you're purging out all of that gunk, I guess. So I did, I purged when I stopped eating dairy, but then since then I haven't had any cystic spots, none, when at the time I had like four or five, they're all gone. And then I was still getting like little pimples here and there, you know, around my period and just stuff like that. I mean, I'll probably always have little pimples, but you know, like the under the skin ones, not a cyst, but it's like tiny and under the skin. And so I wanted to see if there was anything I could do for that. So I did start exercising more, freq more frequently. What that? Yeah. So I started <laughs> exercising. And then on top of that, I've been doing uh, low inflammation and low GI diet. And basically what I've learned, so a GI is a glycemic index. And when a food is high on the glycemic index, it's going to spike your blood sugar level and that's going to spike the insulin response in your body. And then that creates inflammation throughout your entire body. And that can also create hormonal imbalances as well. Um, so, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> low GI, so low glycemic index foods keep blood sugar stable and you want it to stay stable because if you're eating high glycemic index foods that are spiking your blood sugar then it's causing inflammation and that's causing acne it's causing tiredness it's causing soreness like widespread throughout your entire body um, and this obviously isn't for everyone this is just personally what's been working for me I know people who have tried this and they said it didn't work for them so I do want to say that but it has been working awesomely for me and 
Um, I used to complain probably every day to my husband. I'm so tired. I am exhausted. I would take a nap every single day from like 3 to 6 p.m. Uh, when I got home from work. And I would also be sore every single day. I'd be like, my back hurts, my leg hurts, whatever. Just stuff would randomly hurt. And now, I'm not kidding, I have no pain. I feel completely fine. This is not a gimmicky thing. This is like for real actually working. <laughs> um, so like something that's gonna be low in the glycemic index, I have some foods for you guys if you're interested. Um, what I have not been eating and then also what I have been eating. So, Low glycemic is also basically low inflammation or anti-inflammation. It's kind of the same, but there are some foods that are different. Um, so things that have high glycemic index are anything that is going to be like processed carbs or refined sugar. So like white bread, white rice, um, anything that has added sugar in it. I have been staying like completely away from sugar. Like I realize like I can't even eat fruit um, some fruit, uh, but like bananas have 19 grams of sugar and just one banana. I had no clue. You're only supposed to have 36 grams a day. I was having like 70 grams every single day. So you really should be checking like the labels and like the foods that you're eating. I seriously, I had no clue. 19 grams of sugar. That's like almost your whole entire day's worth of sugar in one banana. And I know processed sugar and natural sugars are different, but my body responds, I guess, the same to both. Um, anyways, so more foods that you should avoid. Um, high fat and processed foods. So you wanna stay away from like red meat and hot dogs, but occasionally red meat can be beneficial. And then obviously dairy is linked to inflammation and also can cause hormonal imbalances. And that is because of the hormones that they put into the, like the cattle that produces the milk, then the hormones go into you, and then that creates a hormonal imbalance. And that's also the same if you're not eating organic eggs, or organic chicken, the same hormones they're putting into that produce are going into you, and then you're processing the hormones and it's creating a hormonal imbalance. Had no clue, that's really freaky when you think about it. So yeah, I haven't, beaten, ha I haven't been Hammonds, I have not been Havins any dairies, so no milk. Um, I've been drinking almond milk, which actually has twice the calcium of regular milk, so there you go. Um, no butter. They have like margarine that tastes exactly the same. It's dairy-free. Mine's like made of, I don't know, uh, probably like eggs and something. And then no cheese. And then a big misconception is that uh, eggs are dairy. Eggs aren't part of dairy. Dairy is just anything that comes from like a cow's milk. And then other things you want to stay away from which affect your, uh, which are high in the glycemic index are french fries, uh, fried chicken, and then just like other fried fatty foods are going to be really high. And then anything that has trans fat in it, like uh, coffee creamer, what else did I write down? And yeah margarine but not like not the not the kind made from you know vegetables and stuff um the butter substitute i use i think it's in my fridge yeah earth balance that's the one i use actually earth balance butter is the one i use yeah diet is really important sorry i'll be able to read your guys comments in a second i just want to make sure i get through all this so the foods that i have been eating i've been basically eating like low gi vegetables with some type of meat or egg and then adding in like anti-inflammatory spices like uh, turmeric or uh, what's another one I've been adding in? Uh, garlic and cinnamon's really good because it keeps your blood sugar levels stable. Um, so that's another one. So I made a list of things that I have been eating. I have been eating so basically like the greener, like the dark greener, the vegetable, that's like what I go for. So uh, kale, spinach, sometimes, I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I like spinach or not though, because sometimes I feel like it might break me out, but I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't had it, but apparently bok choy, is that how you pronounce it? It's supposed to be really good for you. Um, I've been eating lots of celery, broccoli, just uh, fatty fish, so you know, like salmon, uh, walnuts are really good for you because they have the omega-3 in it and you want to try to get your omega-3 balance to your omega-6 balance. 
uh, chia seeds, uh, flax seeds, Coconut oil is really good because it can help to balance your hormones. Also, avocados are really great because they balance your hormones. Um, and then the spices I said earlier, turmeric, ginger, cinnamon, and then any whole grain that's high in fiber that's not like a refined processed, so like no white bread, no rice, uh, but you can eat things like that are whole grain or oats. Uh, green tea is really, really good. I actually, that I have been having caffeine again and it seems like my skin's fine. I've had it for like two months now, maybe a month and a half. Um, just green tea though and matcha. Matcha is, oh girl, it's so good. I love it, I love it. And then I've also been eating, I just started eating like olives and then extra virgin olive oil is supposed to be good as well. Garlic, rosemary, and I saw, I haven't tried it, but I've seen um, bone broth is supposed to be really good, and there's collagen in the bone broth, and I feel like, I don't know, I read something like it can help your skin and your hair and all that stuff, so. Yeah, so those are just some of the things I've been eating. Um, um, you really wanna try to look at just eating vegetables are low in the glycemic index, and then also trying to incorporate like spices you can research all this online um, but that's like how I started was just by like adding certain spices and then adding more vegetables and then taking other things away in the very beginning I thought when I was eating fruit I was eating a smoothie every single morning and I thought I was being healthy by eating a smoothie every single morning and I was having like 70 grams 80 grams of sugar every single morning <laughs> which is not healthy because then I would crash by like, like I was saying, 3 p.m. and just feel like terrible the whole day. So yeah, that's uh, right now fruit are not for me. Strawberries are okay and blueberries are okay. Those both have like pretty low sugar, but other than that, I've not been eating very much fruit or added sugar. How do I manage to eat out when you're on a strict diet? Am I going to keep this forever? I think I might eat like this forever because it just makes me feel way better and I have, I have so much energy. Like I used to go to sleep at like 9 or 10 p.m. every single night and now I'm up to like midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. and then I'm back up at 6 or 7 a.m. and I feel great. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Um, but I, that is kind of challenging going out to eat, you know, because you still want to be social and hang out with people or like go out with family or whatever. Um, but I always look for like usually vegan, like the little V if they have it on their menu. That's usually gonna be low GI, not all the time, but most of the time it is. Um, I usually choose to get like some kind of fish. So I'll get salmon and then like a side of vegetables or you know, you can't do healthy all the time. Sometimes you gotta cheat. So I don't know, I try to be as healthy as possible, um, but I don't know, man, sometimes you get in a situation where you can't. It's just not possible. Thank you guys for all of your nice comments. Oh my gosh, hold on, I'm trying to scroll back up. What should I do if I mess up and eat milk? What should I do right after to prevent a huge breakout? Um, if you mess up and eat milk to prevent a big breakout. <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, I've never had that happen. I usually just drink um, almond milk, but I guess, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything you can do. I mean, if you wanted to try something like internally, you could try, I guess, taking like a probiotic or drinking some kombucha and see if that evens out like the bacteria in your gut. I don't know. I don't really know what I would do in that case. Sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, what am I doing to get rid of my acne scars? Uh, right now I'm using Banish. I'm using their starter kit. Um, so I've been derm rolling like once every two weeks and then I use the pumpkin mask. And then I also, whenever I feel like I need like a deep clean, probably like once every two weeks, maybe less than that, I use the charcoal mask mixed with apple cider vinegar. And I also mix the, um, oh my gosh, what's it called? It's that big Benetite clay mask that you can get off of Amazon. I put that in it too. How can I prevent scarring anytime I get a new breakout? I'm always getting new scars, not hyperpigmentation. That's the thing that kind of sucks about cystic acne is that scarring kind of depends on um, your genetics more than anything. Some people can have one tiny pimple and get the worst scar ever. And then other people can have a face full and get no scars. So a lot of that does have to do with genetics. Um, 
but I found like the most effective for me is using hydrocolloid bandages. So it's like a blister bandage if you've never seen it before. So you can, like I, when I would get them, I would, I don't know if this is like professional or not, but I would like steam the spot. So like you got it to a head or got whatever. And then like try to get as much out as possible. If you can like lance it with a sterile needle or just leave it and then put the band-aid on. So you, like you don't have to pop it, but if you do, you can put a band-aid on and it'll suck out all the gunk from the spot. And those bandages are supposed to prevent or help with scarring. So they'll like minimize the scar. What do I think about birth control pills for the face? Um, I think that they can be really, really helpful for some people. Personally, I have been on the same birth control since I was 16 and I went on it for my acne, which wasn't even that bad then. Um, but yeah, they definitely helped me and without it, I feel like my hormones would be crazy. So, I mean, it's not like ideal. I feel like you want to be as natural as possible. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't want to put added stuff into their bodies, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. What am I using on my face to prevent cystic acne? Um, I'm using, so just like my Gentle Skin Neutrogena Cleanser, and then I try not to overdo it because I feel like the more stuff you put on your face and the more you work it, you're kind of like irritating your skin and drying it out and just like, I feel like if you do too much, then it kind of backfires on you. Does anyone else feel like that? I don't know, with my skin at least. So I just wash it with a gentle cleanser and then I'll moisturize with like the Banish Aloe Vera oil or have the Neutrogena Hydro Boost and that's all I do. Uh, I feel the same since I changed my diet. This is my scars journey. Sorry, I have to read your guys' names first. I keep forgetting. More energized when we move. I slacked on my good diet and totally saw the difference. Me too. Like. I never used to be like this. Like I'd be the person who'd be like, I want Wendy's for breakfast and then Chipotle for lunch and then <laughs> beat-ups for dinner. But now I'm like, I don't feel like that at all. Like I don't crave any of it. I don't miss it. I don't feel like I'm missing out. Like I think that was why I was scared to make a diet change because I was like, oh, I'm gonna like miss out on all the good food. But really food isn't supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be like fuel so that you feel good. <laughs> Is that, I don't know, that's how I feel. Um, what do I think about probiotics to heal acne? I've been taking a probiotic every single day for like, I don't know, two months. I think that it actually does help because I have read that if your gut bacteria, like gut health is off, or if like you have too much bad bacteria, or too much good bacteria, or whatever, if it's off, then that can actually cause you to break out as well. It can cause like a bunch of problems, but yeah, I think taking a probiotic, there's not really like a downside to it, so I would try it. Do I take any supplements, says Sidra XK? Um, the only supplements I take is a daily like multivitamin, like the Chewy, it's like the knockoff Flintstones, it's Kroger brand. <laughs> and then I take a probiotic and that's it. Amy Marina says, do you think I should get my hormones checked before stopping Accutane to see if that's what caused my acne and prevent it uh, from coming back? I'm not sure about um, how they go about getting your hormones checked. I know like a lot of people do Accutane with birth control and I think you have to be off birth control for at least like three or four months for them to check your hormone levels um, because it'll still be in your system for a while. Um, but I don't think that's a bad idea to get them checked just to see. I know a lot of people who have that problem end up going on like Spiracu, Spiro, Spiro something and I've heard that helps them as well. What do I eat for breakfast instead of a smoothie? I eat eggs, because it gives me protein and then that gives me like a ton of energy throughout the day. Um, I just started buying organic eggs because I didn't realize before, like I was saying, if you're eating like the regular eggs, the chicken has hormones in it and that hormone, those hormones and everything that's added to it are going into that egg. So I did start eating organic eggs and it's been so far so good. And I post usually the stuff I eat on my Snapchat. It's the same, uh, same username as my face story. I try to post as much as I can. Um, but usually like eggs, avocado, 
and then I might cook up something like some kale or some other leafy green type thing and uh, what is it called? Cauliflower. How a Taylor A Skin says, how is my mood during taking Accutane? Um, <laughs> it was so long ago. It was like, that was like two years ago, but I think I was pretty positive, um, but I was definitely really tired all the time, like all the time. It was so bad one time. I was driving home from work and this is terrible, but I was driving home from work and I fell asleep. I think I just closed my eyes, fell asleep and I woke up and I was in the other lane. So if that tells you anything, that's how tired I was, like constantly. And then I was also really sore when I was on it. Like it would take me probably like 20 minutes to get out of bed. I'd be like trying to roll over. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't think like, it didn't make me depressed or anything, but just like those things were kind of irritating. Oh, uh, whoever asked about if they accidentally eat milk, someone says to drink a ton of water if they drink regular milk. My scar journey says this. Uh, no clue if it's working though, haha. I feel like that could work because like you're flushing it out of your system. Um, you could also try like, they sell charcoal pills that could help to like detox you, I guess to like absorb the bad stuff. My sister gave me one the other day. It's like, I don't know, I think it worked. What makeup do I wear? I wear the L'Oreal Pro Glow mixed with the L'Oreal Pro Matte. Oh yeah, so that mask is called the Aztec Healing Clay Mask. I really like that mask, it's good. The only thing I noticed when I first started using it, I didn't think I liked it because it made me break out, but it says on there like it will make you purge at first because it's bringing everything that's under your skin to a head. But I like that mask a lot. Oh. Um, so Kathy says you can drink apple cider vinegar if you sometimes, so like maybe if you accidentally eat something with high glycemic food two hours before or half hour after eating. There you go. There you go. So many different options. You could try water, apple cider vinegar, charcoal pill, whatever. I don't know why I was making that face when I was reading. That was really <laughs> cute. Uh, what birth control am I on? Uh, 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 I don't know what it's called. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Hold on, I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, 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 I'm on Kareva. I don't think it's anything special. It's just what I've always been on. We went through like a couple different ones when I was younger, trying to find out which one helped my skin the most and that was the one that worked for me. It's spelled K-R-I-V-A. What do I use against old scars? Um, derma rolling really helps me and then I guess just like masks. I don't know. I feel like derma rolling really helps the most and then like a vitamin C serum. I was thinking about, and if anyone has done this, let me know. I was thinking about taking either collagen powder or collagen supplements because I heard that they can help with your skin. I've heard that they can help with your scars too, even old scars. If anyone knows anything about that, let me know. Flowers for Mary says she wants to recommend the Alme 4-in-1 Blemish Eraser Foundation. It has salicylic acid in it. So, dogs, that would be good, I guess, if you're like still, so, like, if you're constantly getting acne because it would help to fight it while you're wearing makeup. Do I ever get tiny little closed comedone bumps? I need advice. I do, so when that happens, I just will exfoliate or I'll use the Banish Pumpkin Enzyme Mask and that usually helps me a lot. Oh, thank you for, thank you Bianca Music. You're so gorge. Um, 
So how does dairy affect acne? So dairy can create a hormonal imbalance in some people and some people have an intolerance to it. So instead of that coming out in the form of, you know, when people have an intolerance to dairy, the like stomach will get upset and they might have to go like number two where they might throw up. But um, it can also come out in the form of cystic spots instead of those other two things. So that's how it affects acne. If your body isn't able to process the hormones that are in it, then it causes acne. I did Accutane for a few months and my acne came back, just not as bad. Yeah, that's, I mean, mine wasn't as bad, but I was still getting cysts and they did, like, even those four left scars, you know? So I felt like that was enough. Uh, what do I recommend doing for, what is that? Oh, that's on my phone. I was like, what is on my show? It's on my phone. What do I recommend for doing uh, for skin while on Accutane? Um, I would do the minimum because you really, I think my eye just twitched, you really want to just let it do its thing. I didn't use like any masks, I only washed my face and then obviously I moisturized, moisturized, moisturized. Um, but I wouldn't overwork it, just let it do its thing. It's like, it's going to get rid of it, it's going to work and just, yes, just do those two. And then also if you want to try rosehip oil, that was another thing I found really helped uh, like to fade my acne scars. I would use it like every single night as like kind of like an oil mask and then I would wash it off in the morning. Uh, what do I cook my kale in? I cook my kale in coconut oil, but you wanna make sure you get the, it's organic. I, I get the unrefined, it's the same, like unrefined, refined, doesn't really matter. And then, what is it? Like cold pressed or something? I don't know, I'll have to post about it later. Um, but I cook it in coconut oil or I cook it in extra virgin olive oil, organic. Those are both good for the low inflammation. Can hormonal be cured naturally without Accutane? Advice for hormonal acne. Um, so that's the thing, like, that's one of the reasons people can relapse after Accutane is because if it is hormonal, it might, you know, it might come back because Accutane doesn't change your hormones, it just shrinks your oil glands. Um, so I do think it can be controlled, kind of controlled naturally. I don't know if I would say like cured, um, but just by eating like food, foods that balance your hormones and then also foods that are low on the glycemic index because those foods won't cause a change in your hormones or a spike in your blood, sh blood sugar or anything like that. Alcohol. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you said something. Ness171 said, do you think alcohol can cause acne breakouts? It can, um, because it is also something that causes inflammation in your body. And it can, like people who have chronic inflammation too are told to avoid alcohol. Um, but yeah, it definitely causes inflammation. So I, I don't know, I think that it can cause acne. But I don't know, because I have also, had like a long night of drinking before and then woke up in the morning and my skin looks perfect. So what's up with that? I don't know. You said my outfit is awesome. Thanks girl. I just got off work. It was terrible. <laughs> it was like the worst day I've had in so long. So I appreciate that. Um. What do I use for scars like the redness? Uh, the Banished Pumpkin Enzyme Mask is really good at fading red marks. And then also, what else do I use? Sometimes I'll like use Retin-A. I don't really use it every night, just like whenever I remember and that's helped a lot. And that was prescribed by my dermatologist. Have I ever tried acne.org? I haven't. I think, is that just benzoyl peroxide? Because my skin does not like benzoyl peroxide. It literally burns holes in my skin. So, I've not tried that. She just wants to be beautiful. She goes unnoticed. She knows no limits. She